Welcome back to this episode of Kaufman Analytics. Today, we're gonna be discussing a topic that I think is really cool. It is how to send a text message from your computer. We're gonna be using Twilio, so sit down, buckle up, and uh, let's go. So the first thing you gotta do is go to twilio.com and sign up. Once you've signed up for an account, the next thing you gotta do is buy a phone number. So I'm gonna click this button right here that says get a trial phone number. After I click that button, it'll take a few seconds to provision it and it will provide me with a new test phone number. So here it is, right there. One thing to know about your trial account is that you can only send text messages to your verified cell phone numbers. To verify your cell phone number in order to send yourself an initial text message, click on this link down here, verified phone numbers. That'll bring you to this screen where it says verify your first caller ID. So we're gonna click on this add a new caller ID button and it's going to say, put a number in. I'm gonna put my cell phone number in here. And then I'm gonna click verify number. Once you click verify, Twilio will then send a text message to your phone. I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Uh, I just got this verification code, so I'm gonna go ahead and type that verification code in. And click submit. I've now verified my cell phone and I can send myself a test text message from this sandbox account. All right, the setup is all done. Now it's time to do the fun stuff. Let's write some code. So I'm gonna go ahead and I'm going to pull up my IDE. This is where I will be writing my code. I'm gonna be writing it in Python, but you are free to use any language you wish. One thing I love about Twilio is the phenomenal documentation. So here I am on the programmable SMS Python quick start. Once you get to this page, they give you some sample code that you can use. I'm gonna copy this and I'm gonna paste it into my IDE here. I use Spider because I'm a data science geek, but like I said, use any IDE or any interpreter, any language that you see fit. Once we have our code pasted into our IDE, we then need to go back to the console screen in, uh, in Twilio and we need two pieces of information here. We need our account SID and our auth token. So I'm gonna go ahead and copy my account SID and I'm gonna paste that right here. I'm gonna get rid of this uh, os.environment because I'm not using environment variables. It is a good idea to use environment variables, but for this tutorial, we're gonna keep it very simple. And I'm gonna place this in between quotes because it is a text string. And then I'm also going to do my auth token. I'm sharing my auth token. Uh, never, ever, ever share your auth token with anyone whatsoever because if they do get, someone does get a hold of your auth token and they use it, you will be liable for any charges that they incur or any ramifications that come from that. Do not ever share your auth token for whatever reason. But I'm gonna delete this in about five minutes, so it doesn't really matter. And I'm gonna place that here. Make sure that it is in between quotes. All right, perfect and I can get rid of this import OS because that is how we use environment variables, which we aren't using. So now the part where you actually send the details or the details that, uh, that go into the text message are down here. This is the body of the text message. So I'm gonna put hello from Python. So I'm very unoriginal. Now, the second thing is that we need to get this from number. This from number is the Twilio phone number that you created a few minutes ago. I'm gonna paste that here. Make sure that is in between quotes because it is a text string and make sure you do not get rid of this plus sign. That needs to be there. I'm going to put my two number, in other words, the phone number that we want to send the text message to and we just verified our cell phone number or whatever number you want to use just a few minutes ago. So that will go there. All right, we are now ready to execute our code. So I'm gonna go ahead and run this. And that ran, let me show you my cell phone screen here. And it, it worked. Let me change my message just so we can see it one more time in action. Call it uh, testing. Execute that code, and there we go. It's as simple as that. I hope this helps, I hope you learned something, and I hope you see how easy it is to send a text message with Twilio and Python. 
Do me a favor and like and subscribe to this channel. That would really help me out. And if you have any thoughts or feedback, I would love to hear about it in the comments below. Thanks, everybody.